I, I mean, I remember learning when I was a teenager that Texas still had sodomy laws. And they go, well, they shouldn't arrest you know, gay people. And then I learned that I'm not supposed to call them homosexuals, even though it's heterosexual, homosexual, it's a scientific term. And then it's, oh, just let us marry. And then now just let us have access to your kids. And now just let us cut your son's penis off. And I, I'm not gonna lump all those groups into one group, but there's a reason it's been banned in civilization because every time it starts, it takes over. If you read in the, some of the first books of the Bible, I forget which one it's in, with the story of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. Is, is that in Genesis or is that the next book? And it's like they're having a gay pride parade. And they're like, we're gonna have sex with your kids and the men, bring them out. And I mean, it's like a, it's like a cult, it's, it's a gang, it's taking over. It's everywhere. I mean, I mean, imagine if like heterosexuals were just making out everywhere and beat each other with bull whips at, at, at parades and had little kids out there. You'd be like, man, you people are perverts, man. Weird. Uh, have you guys never seen uh, heterosexual folks making out before? Just never seen it in my life. Never seen them showing up and bringing their kids to Hooters. Never seen any of those things happen with heterosexual folks. But still, apparently, Alex Jones is on one talking about how, you know, that's why these things don't thrive in societies because you know it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I can't, I can't get away from it because I can't get my mind off of gay folks. Can't get my mind off of trans folks. I cannot figure out which way to turn. Except I'm the one who continues talking about it. When is this going to keep happening? How come this keeps happening to us? Well, if you look for something, you'll find it. And definitely he's found it before. Because remember back in 2018, there's this guy, his name is, uh, he looks a lot like Alex Jones. And uh, he was caught looking at his uh, phone that had transgender porn on it. Weird how that works. Remember this watch? Dot com to go look all of this up. And it is extremely There was that quick moment as he was flipping the phone. One of the things up, we can look at the image here, uh, the still image here of one of those screens that he uh, was referring back to, I guess for show purposes. He was just making sure that they had their graphics ready, maybe the right videos for the show. Uh, but it was definitely apparently, which he did point out, I think he did admit to it, uh, trans porn for a split second on the camera, still trained on the screen. It revealed all those tabs. And one of those pages was titled <laughs> Naughty <laughs> T-Babe Marissa. And it continues on. A T babe is a term used to refer to a transgender to transgender porn stars. And the clip is believed to show Marissa Minx, described as Australia's number one trans companion and triple X adult model. So maybe someone should uh, let Alex Jones know, hey, uh, you keep seeing it everywhere because you keep looking for it. And by the way, bro, have at it. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. It's America, right? Except when you do it, it's a, not a problem. When people just live and thrive, and apparently, maybe your favorite porn star also, you're okay with it there. Um, there's one more stop, but I want your thoughts here first, Jim, because this is a lot. This is a lot building. Uh, why is it everywhere, and how do we get rid of it? And since you broke it all the way down, someone's OnlyFans page is just going to skyrocket <laughs> now. Alex Jones has apparently been doing this work, we learned in the first <laughs> clip, since he was a teenager when he was researching sodomy laws in Texas. And, and you're right, have at it, he should do whatever floats his boat. Um, but this is now bordering on obsession. I think he's obsessed. And I'm fine with that too, who's he hurting, you know? <laughs> if he just keeps it personal and opens more tabs, it's all good. But this is obsession and it's about the man in the mirror. It always is one of those things like, you know, the the, uh, the pride uh, displays in Target that the that folks run in and film themselves yanking kids shirts and then snatching down displays and you go, why is this always in my face? And I gotta be honest, I didn't see the pride displays until folks started mm -hmm. highlighting them so much because yeah. I wasn't shopping for pride uh, merch. But if you are, cool, they let you find it. I'm also not shopping in the cosmetics department. I'm also not shopping in electronics because I don't do that. But Fine, it has to be there for folks who are shopping for it. But they're making it seem like this is all brand new and look how they're throwing this and shoving it in our faces. Again, next time you see a heterosexual couple walking down the street and holding hands, scream, I can't believe they're shoving this in my face. <laughs> it's just there, it's who they are. I think they get to have that. One more embarrassing clip though here, because Alex Jones has also had this response as he was looking at that porn there on his show when a fan called in. Didn't look all that good. Is this the same video yet? Let's see what else is happening here, is it? Watch. 
Um, and also, um, what about the trans porn on your phone, Alex? Are you ever going to talk about that? Say that again. Trans porn on your phone. That's all they keep talking about. And you know, I saw a couple like, news articles about that. It's ridiculous. I was like looking up some reporter we're trying to hire today and punched in some number and it popped up porn on my phone. Everybody's had porn pop up on their phones hundreds of times. So I'm sitting there with a phone on air showing it to everybody because I couldn't get a URL up in the studio. And then like something pops up and like, oh my God. And, it, and I looked at it. it, wasn't the news blurted out because there was nothing there. They blurred it to then say something was there. Then you went to it with some porn menu. I probably had porn menus pop up 500 times on my phone. So I appreciate your call. I mean, it's insane, ladies and gentlemen. There's two types of people, people that look at porn and people that lie about it. But I wasn't looking at porn on my phone. I don't take phones on air that I look at porn on. I save my phones uh, the, for porn off air, not the ones that I bring <laughs> on air. Also, by the way, he says he's looking for a URL to pop up. <laughs> I didn't know they were calling it URLs lately. I got to get with the kids and what they're talking about. Uh, <laughs> thoughts, Sharon? Yeah, that's funny. I mean, he is, he's both those people, right? He's looking up porn. And he's lying about it. And you know, again, he said that most people have porn pop up on their yeah. phones. Yeah, because they're looking for it. Okay, that's how it happens. That's how it populates, Alex. And I don't know why, when the woman said what she said and asked the question, he didn't just hang up on her instead of at the end saying, "I appreciate your." <laughs> what did he say? He doesn't your appreciate call. it. Right? He doesn't appreciate it. Okay, he should fess up. And be like millions of others across the globe, across America who want to engage in this and just do you, Alex, but leave the rest of us alone with your hate. Can you imagine how much more calm uh, some of these folks would be if they just accepted that they exactly. do what they want and other folks mm -hmm. can do what they want? And we might focus on actual issues that are actually bringing the country down, but that's the whole purpose for these social, uh, these social media wars and these culture wars that they're pushing on everyone is stop thinking about what's actually destroying your life. Stop thinking about the wages that you're being that's being stolen from you. Stop thinking about the fact that's you have fine. no health care and you're stressed out about it. Stop thinking about the fact your kids can't even go to school without paying exorbitant amounts of money. What are we gonna do in the future? Who cares? There's gay people across the street or not even across the street. Downtown at some event that you went and found them at.